a lot of trainers will say no um you can go to the gym with my program you can go three times per week four times per week that's cap doesn't mean that you are not sore that you are not working out you can train every day but how to have quick fast real results has an at the gym hey what's up folks my name is wonderful hope you guys have a wonderful day today i'm talking about fitness fitness I'm talking about fitness, yes sir, and I'm teaching you guys how to literally have fast results as a natty. I've been training for years now, years, years, years. I'm not like the, like I'm natty 100, 100% of course, I don't look like a, I am a bodybuilder either. Guys, being natty is not, as, it's not the same thing as being on gear, you know. So first of all, the first thing that you need to understand is, a lot of people ask me, how many times you need to work out per week and some people say it's three times four times five times cap right i'm not saying that you should work out every day or you should work out one time per week right the point is it will depend on your lifestyle because working out is a lifestyle right it's a routine that you add into your lifestyle so for some people it could be four times per week for other people like me. I like to train every day. The reason why is because I feel better. When I started my fitness journey, guess what? I was training to change my body, to be more attractive, to have more women, stuff like that. But after like a year or two, I realized that training wasn't to, to be aesthetic only. It came with a lot of other things, being healthy, have a better uh, quality life. I was literally more happy. My body was happier also. I was feeling good. I wasn't going to, I mean, I, I'm thinking about that, but since I've been training, I've never got like really sick. Maybe like having like a, a cold or something like that, but I didn't went to the hospital or something crazy since I've been training. But before that, when I was like a kid or a teenager, uh, I, I was sick like every few months, you know, because I was eating junk foods, soda, and I wasn't happy. And now that, that I think about it, I wasn't happy like that. But, you know, after a year, you don't even train for your aesthetic anymore. Uh, for those who train for a long time, maybe it's the same thing for you guys. But when you start, you start with one goal, change your body, either if it's to lose weight or gain muscle or both but you want to look better why because maybe as a man you're looking this and you cannot attract the girl that you want right so you tell yourself let me go to the gym and i will attract her which is not completely false but it's not completely true you know women don't really like guys that focus on going to the gym they like guys that will focus on themselves you know in general including fitness including money including status including anything else right so whenever you start going to the gym i'm not saying that you should work out every single day but it's a lifestyle so if you want to work out every day you can a lot of trainers will say no um you can go to the gym with my program you can go three times per week four times per week i don't believe on overtraining i believe on on the rest so overtraining is a thing on the rest is another thing so people say that you overtrain I'm not saying that um, it doesn't exist I mean in my opinion it doesn't exist the term exists but the reality doesn't it doesn't exist it's not that you overtrain that's cap the reality is that you don't rest fast enough or not really good you don't have the right amount of hours when you are sleeping you don't eat well you don't take uh, the right like pauses when you have to take a pause or a break you know you train maybe every day with intensity which not it's, it's not that bad but it's not good either if you train every day so my point is it's like a car like you can literally use your car every day like every, like all day long but you will change your oil faster you will put gas often stuff like that you, your tires will be used faster and stuff like that so you have to put more maintenance in 
uh, shorter amount of time with your car if you want to use it like all day long all year round like if you want to use your car for example if you are a taxi driver or uber driver for example or a truck driver those vehicles will be maintained every week like every week you will be replacing or you will be investing money or time or energy in those vehicles to be performed um literally every single day so it's the exact same thing with your body if you want to train every day it's possible but you want to make sure that you eat extremely well that you sleep extremely well and you know what the fuck you are doing right so how many times you should work out per week i'm not saying that you shouldn't work out uh every day or that you have to work out every day the thing is it depends on the effort that you are putting not in the gym but outside the gym more effort you are putting outside the gym more you're allowed to train like more often in the week so in my case for example i eat extremely well um every single day so and i rest every single day like i sleep about eight to nine hours every day so i know myself i know that i can push myself every single day and also my training program is not with intensity every single workout because if you are intense and you are sore the next day you cannot really train the same muscle for a few days maybe a day or two or three because you are sore so you have to take a break and wait to use your arm for example again the same week so it's about it's more about the the volume that you you need to to focus on not the intensity unless like less you train per week for example you train two to three times per week more intense you have to train more you have to destroy and be sore the next few days after those workouts but if you want to um train every single day you cannot be intense every time you will have some period some 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 workouts that will be intense for example but not every single day what you want to do is to train like every time like you go to your limit but only one percent let's say you train let's, let's say you are doing some bench press you lift x amount of a pound doesn't matter the amount but you lift some amount and you do 10 reps and then the next time you come to the gym the next day you know you do another 10 reps and then the next day 10 reps and then the fourth day like in the row you will lift 11 reps and then the next day after that 11 again and then a week later versus the day one the day seven like literally a week later you are doing 12 reps right so basically because you train every day the same muscle like the same exercise in that scenario is the bench press you will have in the long term in a matter of a week you will have more reps than the guy that is training for pr and making i don't know three six reps and that's it only two times per week so guys in my opinion you should work out more often more in quantity more in volume for having fast results than uh, training in intensity and be sore for i don't know five days seven days sometimes i had some workout man I, I, i'd be working out my legs and be sore for 10 days two weeks because i was destroying them but i like the, the feeling and i like to destroy my legs but it doesn't mean that you are not sore that you are not working out so you need to look at the quantity at the volume at the end of the week and at the end of the month like how many times you worked or how many reps you did in that kind of exercise at the end of the month or at the end of the week so it's better to work every day for example your chest and make i don't know 500 reps in total at the end of the week then only train your chest two times and only do i don't know 80 reps you know so the other one you are making more reps and you are making sure that you are healthy you're in shape and you are little by little like 0.01 percent increasing but because of the volume at the end of the week that's where you will be able to train every day that's where you will be able to progress faster in my opinion so you can train every day 
but um, in reality, if you are not putting the work outside of the training, outside of the workout, guys, you shouldn't work every day. You will more destroy your body than building it, right? So should you work out every single day or should you work out a few times a week, like three times, four times, five times a week? How many times should you work out per week for gaining muscle? as a man and another thing is when you train every day it's not healthy like that i agree but the good thing about it is that you feel good mentally and not only physically but you feel good like the rest of your day you will take better decisions literally you will not order fast food you will eat better you will be happier you will be more confident etc 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 so guys 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 i'm telling you is it better to train every day or a few times per week in my opinion every day but you have to put more effort in the outside of the working out you know so if you want to train only three four times per week it's also fine but the two three days that you won't work out you won't feel as good as you would be if you train every day and that's the reason that i train every day it's not even for gains guys i don't really train for gains or stuff like that honestly i train because i feel good i train to be more productive to increase my testosterone to um you know beat my heart because nowadays you have technology you have cars you have living room you have netflix so all those things are destroying your healthy lifestyle so when you are not working out guess what you are quote unquote waste resting but the thing is you are not really moving like that unless you have like a job that you really move but in reality when you are taking a break or resting uh guys you are not really moving like that it's not natural it's not biology you want to make sure that you are active every single day so guys if you are only working out three four times per week i would advise you guys to make sure that the rest of your lifestyle you are moving uh, either at your job either you have some hobbies for example dancing or some hobbies that you are literally moving you have to make sure guys that if you are taking breaks for example two day off three day off per week not working out i want you guys to make sure that you are at least moving a bit not not being your in your bed watching netflix all day long no make sure that you are at least walking a lot making your steps every single day making sure that um your heart is beating well and not at a low bpm sometimes at a medium bpm be active that's the thing so at the same time you can train every day and look for the outside of the working out outside of the gym to make sure that you have the energy the resources that you need to work out every day and you will feel extremely good every single day or you can train three four five times per week but make sure that the rest of your lifestyle is pretty active that you are working at the job that you are moving or that you have some hobbies that you are moving also so which is best working out every day or working out a few times per week so less time you work per week literally more intensity you have to put on each workout but if you train every day less intensity you have to do but you will not be sore the next day and repeat and be uh, happier and feel better your testosterone will increase and also you will have more volume and at the long 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 term after six months a year i'm promising you you will have more results if you train every day because of the volume it was wonderful like this video and subscribe for more